Hello everyone. So today's sessions uh, we will cover or we will talk about the disk size of the Univention corporate server. So um, for those who don't know the Univention corporate server is what we also refer to as the own cloud appliance which is basically powered by the software of Univention which is called the Univention corporate server. And um, the thing with the Univention corporate server is, or the appliance, is that um, it comes with a default disk size of um, 50 gigabytes, which is fine if you just want to upload a couple of files or if you want to do a small POC or something, but in case you need um, more storage space, um, you will have to extend um, the disk size, and this is what we are about um, to cover. So Univention provided an official guide how to do that, and I will show you um, how this will works on a live system. And um, yeah, as always, um, before you do these kind of changes, please do a backup snapshot um, or whatever, so that in the case of something goes wrong, um, you can roll back to the original um, configuration and no data is lost. All right, let's get started. All right, so first thing that we need to do, of course, is to shut down the uh, virtual machine. So in my case, I'm using um, VirtualBox and I'm having um, UCS version 4.4 here. And in case you're using a different hypervisor, please have a look at the documentation in order how to add a new disk to that machine. So in my case, I click on settings, then I go to the storage tab here, and I just need to click on that small hard disk in order to add a new disk. I want to create a completely new disk. You can choose the format first and then the way it's stored. And of course the size and the name. So I will call it uh, oh, C and then I click on create and the new disk is attached to the virtual machine. And the next thing that we need to do is to connect to that virtual machine um, using SSH, and then we can resize the LVM. So as mentioned during the introduction, um, Univention provides a guide on how to resize um, the disk. And um, yeah, first thing they mention is to have a look around on the existing uh, physical volumes, volumes groups, and so on. And in order to do this, I already logged in using the um, administrator account here to my Univention appliance, and I will become root in order to perform these actions here. Okay, so first thing they uh, mention is to have a look at the physical volumes. So as you can see, so we have one physical volume here, which has the size of 50 gigs. Okay, so volume groups here. It's also um, only one volume group um, with the same size as the disk. And if we look at the logical volumes, we will see that we have the root and the swap volume here. All right, so next thing um, is to have a look at the disks available. So as we already um, attached a disk to the VM, we should see that there is a new disk. So the original disk is um, SDA and we should see another disk here, which is true. So we see SDB. So this is the, the disk that we just added to our um, Univention appliance. And first thing we need to do is to partition that new disk so that we can use it. All right, so I just copied the command here and this will lead me to this wizard and um, the guide here tells me to use GPT and I will of course follow this guide and um, then I have to choose um, that it, this is a new partition and that this has the size of 8 gig and um, then I'm basically done and uh, what I need to do before I leave this wizard here is to write these changes otherwise they don't take place. Alright and in order to confirm that 
I need to type in yes. All right, partition table has been altered, so I can now leave that wizard and continue with my guide here. Okay, so this is finished. So I will create a new physical volume for the STP1. And this is done. So now I can have a look here at the list of physical volumes and I can see that we now have also the volume SDB1 with a size of 8 gig. All right, what's next? Um, all right, yeah, so next thing is that we extend the, um, yeah, the, 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 the volume, the root volume here. So I can basically just also just copy that command, paste it again into my shell, hit enter, and I can see that my root volume group um, is extended with the disk that we just added. So if I just have a look again, so as mentioned here, type in um, GS. So I will see that um, the total size of that uh, group has changed and that there is some free space left. And now I will just need to resize um, this volume by copying this command here. So as you can see, it's pretty straightforward. So just paste it here. Just see that I have everything copied as it should be. Hit enter. And as you can see here, the, the, the logical root volume was successfully resized. And the next thing is to update these changes. Then we are nearly done here. So again, just paste that command, hit enter. And as you can see, this looks pretty good. And now last thing I will do is to have a look if the, yeah, if the new storage is, has arrived here. And as you can see, the UCS root volume group has increased. So everything has worked as expected. So thanks for watching.